everyone, head coach Peter Fuller here. You're getting ready to join me to watch the New York Cosmos versus Chattanooga Football Club at the bubble in Detroit. Let's go CFC. So here we are, back with our old friends and nemesis, the uh, New York Cosmos. Cosmos lost their first game to Cal United 2-0 and uh, we're behind the eight ball. We had won our game 3-0 or 2 nothing, and, and got our three points. Um, so obviously for them, they're in a must-win situation. We're in a situation where a tie just brings us that much closer to, to getting, uh, getting through. So um, they came out with all guns blazing right here. I mean, this first 20 minutes, 25 minutes was, was crazy. And uh, I give... I give our guys a lot of credit and a lot of people would say, well, you know, some of the mistakes here were, you know, were of our own. Look at Sean Russell right here. Look at him. Look at Coloco. I mean, how good is that? That's guys just absolutely selling out and throwing their bodies at things to make sure that, that they don't score a goal. Great save by Alec right there. Boom. Right back up. Sean gets in there. Coloco. Boom. Great block. And Spielman sensibly at that point just fires it up the field and lets us live another day at this point. Good ball in from Ansi goalie. terrific left-footed players, had a great career, uh, both in Europe and over here. Um, but, uh, um, you know, just, just gently and easily puts it in the mix. And um, I think it was Sal Barone, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, puts it on red, but it's fairly easy for him to deal with. Um, well done here by Wilfred Williams. Will had a terrific tournament for us. Played really, really well. Um, you know, came in and, and really just wanted a place to practice while he was in town. We ended up signing him and uh, he ended up doing a heck of a job. Look at, look at Sean here again. Look at Spielman. And then they get a shot that's from a distance that Alec can easily deal with. But again, balls in, block. Can't get a handle to it. Boom, block. And then an easy one. I think that's five blocks at this point that we've made inside of our own 18-yard box. Alec gets stuck a little bit in a bad position to receive that cross, decides to come for it, but cleverly just deflects it away with one hand and then just makes sure he keeps it moving away from the goal and, and corrals it himself. Very well done. Very well done. So now here we are in the second half. Um, um, I believe it's Javon uh, Sean Brown, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is, the, is, the, is the name of this guy, Grenadian International. Um, he's an absolute handful, handful. And I love the way this guy plays. Look at this. I mean, just intensity, heart. Reminds me of Darwin in a lot of ways in terms of just the, the play with their heart out on their sleeve. Um, I think his issue, I think, has been he just doesn't score enough goals, gets into great positions, but just doesn't, uh, uh, not, a, not a great finisher. Um, and, uh, uh, but boy, is he an absolute handful. It really, really is. And uh, love, love watching him play. I hate when we're playing against them. He's, he was a handful at our place, too. Really was. So, Darwin here. Look at him spin him. And then slips it through there. Just a little bit unlucky. Some pretty good defending, actually, by Cosmos to prevent Marcano from getting on the end of that. Ryan had come on here a little bit later in the game, and we actually brought him on up front rather than playing. We play him mostly as a wing back or as a traditional two in a back four. But uh, uh, again, just enough for the kids out there watching. When, when Acuna goes up for this um, header, I believe it's Nick just gets enough of his body. Actually, it's Ryan just gets enough of his body on him so that he can't snap into it. So all he's able to do is just redirect this on goal. Watch right here. Boom. Just gets enough of him. 
And uh, actually, you know what? That was Cutler, I think. Cutler Coleman. Um, very, very smart move from a guy playing his first professional game, which Cutler was right then. So, um, I mean, he, uh, he um, got a little lucky right there. The marking was not good enough. And uh, I think Nick's pointing that out a little bit here. Um, and I think it was actually Nick, could have been Nick's man, um, but uh, uh, not totally sure there. Um, but uh, corner for us, just a little bit over hit right there. Um, look at this by Cam, what a ball. What a ball. Just unlucky for Brian Bement right there. Um, Brian's movement is so good up front. He really is. He's, he's, again, for young players, look at this run. Right in between the two center backs. Gets right in between them. Neither one knows exactly who's going to pick him up at that point. And obviously Cam's movement with the ball, taking it inside, throws the one center back there a little bit. Williams, Wilfred gets up the line. What a ball. What a ball. And I think, uh, I think probably Zeka will tell you that he uh, uh, felt like he probably should have done better with that. Um, just a little bit. Zek's, Zek's run right here, he may have gotten himself in a little bit too tight to goals. Should have stayed just a little bit deeper toward the back post. Here's Marcano. Best chance of the second half. Just can't can't finish it. Keeper does really well right there. Really, really well for the Cosmos. Terrific save. What a ball though by Cam. Very similar to the one that Juan had hit in the uh, LA Force game. And uh, um, it's funny, we end up winning this game. We actually win the group at this point. So it puts us in a great position. Good strike there from Brian. Did really well, really well. So, takes it on his chest, on the volley, well hit, really well hit. So, um, another look at it, stays over it nicely. Probably could have let it drop just another three or four inches, probably would have put that on target. Um, but again, that's easy for me to say sitting here watching it on a, on a video screen. I mean, I, you know, you're in the game and you got things. He's right in the middle of the park right there. He's got, he's got to think 360 degrees. He's got to think all the way around him. He doesn't just have the game in front of him there. is interesting. So Cork and Marcano, that's a heck of a collision by the way. Um, heck of a collision. It's starting to get a little bit chippy. Remember this, both teams at this point have already played a game, had a couple of days off and you're playing again. And for the Cosmos, they're playing for their lives right now. Um, they know they have to win this. Uh, tie for them and they're, and they're having to worry they're just praying they can get a win in the last game and get four points, and somehow that gets them through. And uh, um, they play desperate, and a desperate team is a very difficult team to play against. Always, um, you know, they, and they're and they're playing with a with a with a, a, an incredible amount of desperation right now. So, um, game ends nil nil. Um, I know for a lot of you out there, I totally understand and get, you know, it probably felt like, you know, we sat in, defended, we didn't come out and really try and play against them and all of that. First off, they're very, very good. Um, so that's part of it. But the other side of it is too, we're playing to get to a semifinal at this point now. It's group play and you're playing to finish in, in the top two. We did, a, we did a, all our work in the first game that put us in a position to be able to get a draw and put us in a great position for our last game. And that was how we approached it, um, how the players approached it and how we approached it as a staff. 
So again, so you understand behind the scenes a little bit of what was going on. That's that's how we viewed it. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time.